If you put a lot of animals in one place, there's no denying that insanity would ensue. So as you can imagine, all manner of chaos must go down at zoos. These are 20 zoo moments that, if they were not filmed, no one would believe it. Number 20. Bears Take Control the balance of power in a zoo is pretty easy to follow. The zookeepers are in charge, except when they're not, and when it comes to bears, they're usually not in charge. In that situation, you're pretty much at the whim of the bear. Now, we're not sure what happened before the camera started rolling, but it doesn't look good. You see a couple of zookeepers running into the pool, pursued by bears, but actually, this is just part of the everyday running of the zoo. They're giving the bears exercise while also playing fast and loose with their own lives. You see these guys running around with them, feeding them, and at one time, trying to get the bear to take food out of the human's mouth. Seriously, guys, you're like one bad day from needing reconstructive surgery. Still, you have to admire the courage of these zookeepers. When you're handling some of the world's strongest and most fearsome predators, you can't afford to be too scared. And I would say that asking a bear to take food out of your mouth is the opposite of scared. Actually, it's straight up stupid in many ways. But still, I have to respect it. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. If these 20 zoo moments were not filmed, no one would believe it. And that includes this extra one we're going to talk about now. Some people disagree with zoos as a concept. They think animals should never be put in cages. Well, this zoo is for those people, because in this zoo, the animals aren't in cages. The humans are. As you can see, the idea is that tourists are locked in safe cages so they can get up close with lions safely without having to lock up the lions. Incredible, right? Would you dare get in this cage? As always, comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Number 19. Thirsty Chimp Monkeys are among the smartest animals on the planet, so there's something truly heartbreaking about seeing them in captivity like this. But just because they're stuck behind a big glass wall doesn't mean they've lost any of that intelligence, especially not if they're thirsty. This chimpanzee got particularly excited to see this woman turning up outside of his exhibit, not because he knew her or because he was even interested in getting to know her. It was because she had food and drink. Obviously, the chimp can be seen pointing to the bag repeatedly until she finally gets the message and offers him a banana. But no, the monkey has no interest in a banana. He wants the cold drink inside the bag, which she's happy to offer. <laughs> the only problem, barrier. But the chimpanzee has a solution, guiding her over to a small hole in the wall, allowing the drink to flow through and quench the chimp's thirst. Seriously, even in a situation like this, you can never underestimate the chimp's impressive intelligence. If it means the monkeys will get fed or have that thirst quenched, you can bet that they'll do whatever they have to do, even if that means cheating the system for a sugary treat. Number 18. A fair trade. How intelligent are monkeys? Way too smart to be fooled by your city tricks. Yeah, there's no way you can fool a monkey into doing something that they don't want to do. No bad deals are made by monkeys after all. In fact, they're excellent negotiators. This orangutan decided that he would make the most of his life in a Bali zoo by, well, running what appears to be a mafia-style racket. The orangutan seems to operate on a kind of tit-for-tat deal with tourists. The tourists bring the snacks, and the orangutan throws… something at them. I'm not sure what exactly the tourist is getting in the deal, but it doesn't look like dung, so that's… good. 
and he's also not dead, so maybe the whole thing is less mafia-ish than it seemed at first. Well, he's not dead yet. I'm sure the officials in the Bali Zoo weren't thrilled to see this video on the internet, but you just can't do much to control the primate population. They're a wild card if ever there was one, and apparently they're the guys you want on your side during a serious negotiation. If you don't get what you want, just throw something at them. It'll probably work. Number 17. Monkey Breakout Throughout history, prison breaks have generally been more of a human thing. That seems kind of obvious, probably, but actually, it's not totally true. Because sure, while humans have mainly been the ones who try to make a break for it, they're not alone. At China's Zhengzhou Zoo, visitors were excited to see this adorable little white-faced capuchin, but they quickly noticed that it was doing something very strange. It was sharpening a rock of some kind. When he finally felt like he had sharpened it enough, he began pounding it against the glass wall of his enclosure, and sure enough, the glass shattered, scaring the monkey away for a second. According to zookeepers, this particular monkey has something of a history when it comes to stunts like this. He is apparently the only monkey that knows how to break walnuts, so they pretty much gave him all the training he needed. The incident proved to be pretty alarming for zookeepers, who immediately removed all stones and rocks from the enclosure, and I'm assuming rebuilt the shattered glass wall. So while this particular prison breakout may not have been a total success, it's clearly scared the zookeepers into building a more high-security prison, which I'm pretty confident this guy will break out of. Number 16. Gorilla Fight the male ego can be a fragile old thing. It doesn't seem to matter what species the creature is. If two males want the same thing, you're pretty much guaranteed a fight of some kind. But when those two creatures are giant adult male silverbacks, well, it's gonna be a little more explosive than usual. The video was captured at the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha, Nebraska, and it pretty much sums up the general behavior of male adult silverbacks. The video starts with one of the gorillas leaping toward the glass wall, waving its fist in the air, then it turns, refocusing to another gorilla at the back of their enclosure. What happens next is both unpredictable and a little bit frightening. They fight. But this isn't your average man-on-man -man fight. There's something especially brutal when it comes to two silverbacks fighting for dominance. They pretty much want to murder one another. And that's the moment that tourists at the zoo got to see everything typically reserved for David Attenborough documentaries, a full-on fight in the wild. The gorillas briefly pummel the hell out of one another before deciding that it's pointless instead wandering off and bringing an end to the whole thing. Who won the fight? We don't know, but my bet is on the, uh, uh, the silverback. Number 15. Lion Lunges at Boy There are two lessons to be learned in the wild when it comes to lions, and they are this. Never turn your back on a big cat, and glass walls are your friend. This boy was too young to know those lessons, but you can be darn sure that he knows them now. The boy was enjoying a trip to a Japanese zoo with his mother when they stopped by the lion exhibit. He was clearly pretty excited at the opportunity to see the king of the jungle close up, and the feeling was apparently mutual. The lion takes a particular interest in him from the second the boy approaches the glass wall lining himself up and settling in. <laughs> yeah, okay, when the boy turns around, the lion sets out to pounce and runs headfirst into a fortified glass wall. So no food and a headache. A bad day for that lion. Zookeepers later said that the lion didn't mean any harm toward the boy and merely wanted to play with him. Forgive me if I'm a little, um, hesitant to believe that claim. This is a golden rule of life. If you ever find yourself encountering a big carnivorous animal in the wild, the worst thing you can do is turn your back. Unless, of course, you happen to have a big glass wall behind you. Then you might be okay. Number 14. The Jealous Beluga 
Jealousy can be a real problem when it comes to relationships. I think that we all have our own experiences with exes that just can't handle the idea of you spending time with other people. But I'm gonna take a wild guess and say none of your exes were beluga whales. At least, I hope not. This is Tina. A beluga whale that truly adores her keeper with all her heart. At the moment, she's spitting a whole lot of water at one specific woman in what is undeniably a targeted attack. And the reason for that is simpler. She's standing far too close to her beloved zookeeper. Yes, my friends, Tina is a very jealous whale who operates under the simple belief of he's mine and nobody else can have him. In fact, Tina is so in love with her keeper that she ignores just about everybody else, even if they're nice to her. In a way, it's kind of cute that Tina has such a devoted and loyal love for her keeper. But there's also some questionable toxic relationship stuff going on under the surface here, given the spitting. Thankfully, I'm not a human whale relationship therapist, so I can't give any advice. But I certainly advise everybody not to date animals because, well, it's weird. Number 13. White Tiger Hunts Caretaker We've already highlighted how dangerous it can be to turn your back on a predator. Now we have yet another example of why that's an incredibly important lesson to learn. Because this caretaker got a little too cocky and I don't imagine it's a mistake he'll make again. When the footage begins, we're looking at a caretaker enjoying a break outside Moscow Zoo's white tiger exhibit. But of course, something is already wrong. The tiger is creeping so stealthily behind him that we almost know where this whole thing is going. The man behind the camera warned the caretaker that something was about to happen, helping him prepare for the moment. Oh, wait. <laughs> but the tiger waits for any sign of movement. When the caretaker finally moves, the tiger pounces and, of course, hits the glass. Having learned his lesson, the tiger slinks away, still hungry. When you're dealing with animals in captivity, the glass walls are pretty much the only thing protecting you from certain death. This tiger would absolutely have not hesitated to kill the caretaker if he got the opportunity. So I guess we all need to start saying thank you to our windows and glass walls now. Number 12. Angry Giraffe Chases Tourist of all the animals that we know to be afraid of, giraffes don't tend to make the list, but this video shows why they can actually be pretty scary. Sure, they may not be carnivores, but giraffes are wild animals, and they know it. The footage was shot in Masai Mara Game Reserve in Kenya, and was taken during a tourist safari that had apparently gone wrong. Perhaps the giraffe was having a bad day, or maybe the vehicle had triggered it into some kind of rage. Whatever it was, the giraffe began chasing the truck out of its natural habitat, eventually managing to get in front. With the giraffe blocking its way, the driver was forced to swerve out of its path, narrowly avoiding what could have been a pretty brutal act of violence from the world's tallest creature. We tend to think of giraffes as we think of vegans. Harmless, kinda quirky, looking out for the greater good, but like vegans, we don't consider how violent they can be from time to time. Have you ever seen a hungry vegan try to find food free of animal products in a small town? If you even suggest eating gelatin, you're looking at a swift punch in the face. Number 11, Orangutan Learns to Saw Wood. We say it pretty much all the time. Monkeys are the smartest animals on the planet, and no, that's not a mistake. Humans are, uh, we're not that smart, uh, come on. But this orangutan has taken her intelligence to the next level, learning to do actual construction work. Watch for a second as this orangutan uses a saw to cut through tree branches inside her exhibit. She uses her feet to hold the branch like a vise and saws right through. splitting it into two pieces. 
that seems pretty advanced for even a monkey, right? As it turns out, this orangutan learned to use the saw from human builders in the region, meaning the saying is true, monkey see, monkey saw. But when a robot orangutan starts copying her behavior, it only serves to make the orangutan more competitive. Soon, they're having a saw off. I think in this case, we know that our orangutan won the contest, if only because she's a real monkey. But still, it's so strange to see that even an orangutan is more gifted at physical DIY work than me. I don't know what that does to my self-esteem, but I'm very glad for this particular primate. Number 10. Lion Hugs Tourist be honest with me, would you hug a lion? The sane answer is absolutely not, are you crazy? Leave me alone! But for some people, the idea of getting up close and personal with one of the world's most dangerous animals sounds like a great Tuesday. These tourists were enjoying a guided tour of Crimea's Tygen Safari Park when things took an unusual turn. Oleg Zubkov was the one driving the bus when the lion suddenly approached the vehicle and climbed in. At this point, obviously, I think many of us would be terrified for our life, but not these tourists. The lion climbs in and seemingly tries to muzzle the woman in the passenger seat, forcing Oleg and the lady to climb out purely because the lion is too big. At this point, the lion starts licking one of the tourists' faces, telling his guests that they can leave if they wish, and for some reason, the tourist says no. Look, I'm just saying, if a lion started licking my face, I would be on the first flight out of the country. If you're brave enough to sit and take that, knowing that you may well be leaving without a face, I have nothing but admiration for you. I just value my face too much. Number 9. Giraffe Licks Woman so we've covered quite a lot of unexpected ground in the animal kingdom. We've seen how hostile giraffes can be, but now we're about to see the polar opposite. A giraffe so friendly that he wants to kiss people, probably better than being chased. The woman was filming in South Africa when a giraffe decided to photobomb her. But while most photobombs tend to involve some kind of goofy facial expression, the giraffe decided to go a different route. The woman immediately feels the giraffe muzzling her hair and sniffing her face, but then the love goes to a whole other level as the big guy licks her. He licks her face! You can only imagine how much saliva she was covered in, but she took it pretty well, telling the giraffe that she likes it too. I like you too! <laughs> it's a nice turnaround from the hostility we saw a little earlier. This is, thankfully, the more typical side of giraffes that the world gets to see. The hostile side tends to be more of an occasional incident. For the most part, a giraffe will be friendly and kind and considerate and maybe a little bit saliva-happy. Still, I'd rather a face full of spit than someone chasing me down. And I kind of regret that sentence. Number 8. Elephant Eats Cell Phone I feel we should clear something up right away. Yeah, while they're not made of meat, even herbivores should not consume technological devices. That seems fairly obvious, but the video you're about to see shows that it's still something to keep in mind. These tourists were excited to get to meet an elephant up close and personal, but while one of them was feeding the animal, the other decided she would get some amazing shots of the whole experience. There's just one problem. A hungry elephant can't really tell the difference between food and phones, which is why this elephant got confused, and the woman ended up losing her cell phone in an elephant's stomach. It's kind of weird to know somebody is going to call an elephant's colon, but hey, welcome to the wild animal kingdom. It's weird here. The woman eventually got her phone back, but unsurprisingly, the experience was not fun. Yep, they got the guy to wade through a big ol' pile of horse dung to find the phone that she foolishly allowed the elephant to consume. That's just straight up bad luck. I guess the lesson here is that if elephants see an apple, they'll just eat it no matter what. Number 7. Rhino Escape 
If you're a security guard working at a zoo, you pretty much have one job. Make sure the animals don't get out. That means remaining vigilant at all times. It does not mean go take a nap and allow three rhinos to just wander right out the front door. This is security cam footage from the Ramat Gan Safari Park in Tel Aviv, Israel. What you're seeing is the antics of three rhinos, Rihanna, Karen Peles, and Carnabella who snuck out of an open side gate and headed out onto the road. It's insane that this even happened, but the explanation is even more insane. The guard fell asleep. When a zoo manager realized that the animals had broken free, he began chasing them down, somehow managing to lead them back to their enclosure. The guard, of course, was fired because, of course, he was. If you're a security guard, pretty much your only job on a good day is to not go to sleep. This guy broke that cardinal rule and found himself having the day from hell because, as I think we can all agree, if there's one animal you don't want on the busy streets, it's a dang rhino. Number 6. Bear Catch if you happen to find yourself in Washington, keep an eye out for the Kodak bear. While we're generally used to seeing bears mauling and attacking people at every turn, the Kodak bear is known for something more, uh, wholesome, kind of. This footage was taken at the Olympic Game Farm, where Kodak bears are known to be surprisingly friendly to passers-by. Just watch. This woman waves at the bear, and the bear is all too willing to wave right back at her. In return, the woman throws a slice of bread to the bear, who easily catches it in one hand and enjoys his meal. This is just life in Washington to these bears. You wave hello to your adoring fans and you get some bread. It's basically the life of a rock star without any of that work stuff. Kodak bears aren't harmless, of course. Any bear on Earth is dangerous, but the Kodak bear is just a little friendlier than most. Have you ever seen a black bear wave? Or Winnie the Pooh? Of course you haven't. He's a psychopath whose whole life revolves around funding his concerning honey addiction. He's too hopped up on sugar to waste time waving. Number 5. Smoking Chimp I'm not gonna sit here and explain why smoking is a bad, disgusting habit. It just is. But to see an animal being encouraged to smoke is a whole new level of gross and should absolutely not be endorsed. Then again, this is North Korea we're talking about. I don't think they listen to anybody. This is Azalea, a chimp in Pyongyang's new zoo, which has apparently become quite a success in the capital. Azalea allegedly smokes a pack of cigarettes every single day, but here's the insane thing. The zoo justifies the whole thing by saying that she doesn't inhale I mean, I don't even know where to start on that one. The zoo trainer throws her a lighter and she'll light up her own cigarettes. Or, now and then, she'll just be handed an already lit cigarette and encouraged to get puffing. It's hard to say how irresponsible, reckless, and generally disgusting this is, but again, this is North Korea and I don't really know what we're expecting. Still, there's just something about seeing such an intelligent and beautiful creature being forced to do something so disgusting and inhumane that it's enraging. And the internet agrees, the outrage was intense and it was swift, prompting the zoo to release that insane, she doesn't inhale comment. I just don't know what to say to that one. Number 4. Spitting Llama Look, there are a couple of ground rules for basic decency when you're dealing with kids. One of the big ones, you just treat them with respect and kindness. After all, they're kids, they don't know any better. Turns out llamas don't care enough to do that. This kid was really excited to see a real-life llama up close, but it doesn't seem like the llama was all that interested to see the kid. In fact, he seemed pretty irritated by having to deal with fans whatsoever. So when the kid finally approaches and appreciates the llama's presence up close, the llama seems unsure of what to do and just stops everything he's doing for a second. The kid is clearly fascinated by the animal, trying to show his appreciation and curiosity, and finally, after thinking what to do for the last minute, the llama makes a decision and spits right in the kid's face. <laughs> 
It's brutal and the kid is clearly surprised by the random hostility, but anybody even slightly familiar with llamas will know that this is just the kind of thing they do. They love spitting in people's faces. They're about as close to politicians as you can find in the animal kingdom. Number 3. Great Argus Mating Dance one of the most fascinating things about the natural world is all of the unique traditions different animals have. One such example is the Great Argus, a pheasant that has one of the most stunning mating dances in the world. First, the male clears out an open spot in the forest, preparing a dance ground. With all other life out of the way, the bird begins its stunning display of affection. After staging a loud call to attract potential females, the male begins an elaborate dance, using his giant wings as fans, revealing all manner of high spots designed to allure and charm the female. It's easily one of the most incredible displays in the entire animal kingdom, and while it may not always be successful, it's never anything less than spectacular. Although I'd be lying if I said I wasn't glad we don't have to do this thing in human society. Can you imagine if a guy walked up and just randomly started posing with two giant fans. It would be uh, quite the display, but I'm not sure that many people would be particularly attracted to it. At least, not if you're new to it and your fans just spill the drinks all over the place. Number 2. Kangaroo vs. Emu it's not the kind of fight that you'd expect to see in the wild, but the kangaroo and the emu just do not get along whatsoever. So when you have one kangaroo and three emus, well, that has all the makings for a catastrophe. The footage was captured at an animal sanctuary in Australia and sees the kangaroo trying to protect a branch he's snacking on. Unfortunately, the three emus also want the same branch, so of course the emus team up to take on the kangaroo, which doesn't exactly go down too well, because the kangaroo, as we all know, doesn't tend to back down from a fight. In fact, if anything, it just leaps up and eagerly welcomes it. So the kangaroo gets up and takes on the mob the only way it can. One by one, the emu confront the kangaroo, only to realize they can't match up. After all, if you're going to take on one of the most fearsome boxers in the animal kingdom, you better have arms. Eventually, the emu step down and retreat, allowing the kangaroo to finish eating his branch. How about that? One kangaroo, three emus, and only one victor. Nice job, buddy. Number 1. Honey Badger's Escape it's one of the most legendary animals on the planet. The honey badger is really not the kind of animal that you want to mess with. But Stoffel is not your average honey badger. You see, while most of them just want to fight whichever animal they can find, Stoffel has bigger fish to fry. He wants to cause trouble. Stoffel has, since childhood, been quite the handful. I mean, just look at how clever he is. When he was a young pup, Stoffel was known to cause absolute chaos in the house, and and when he was taken to a rehab center, he did the same thing again, killing most of the animals in the facility. He broke into the local lodge and chased the kitchen staff out. He ransacked guest rooms. He's done it all. So eventually, Stoffel's owners put him in his very own enclosure. Just one problem, he's still causing trouble. It doesn't matter how much security his humans put in place, Stoffel finds a way to outsmart it. He'll climb the fence, he'll break through the locks, he'll undo the barbed wire. Stoffel is a professional troll, willing to do whatever the heck it takes to have a good time and, you know, mess with the humans who think he's just your everyday animal. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen at the zoo? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!